you know warren buffet once said that the more you learn the more you earn so let's talk about it now the things that i'm going to talk about in this video is that how to clean up the data now why it is very much important because whenever you get the data from a source it is not that much clean enough so every time you have to clean up the data it is some kind of mandatory thing that you should know in excel that's why i've kept it into this course and at times it is very much required when you get a project a freelancing project you may have to clean up the data and 99% of the time whenever i get a project i have to first clean up the data as per my requirement and then only i can create a dashboard i can do whatever i need to to present it in front of the customer the client right or if you are doing a job you have to clean up the data then only you will be able to analyze the data or if you are doing your own business you may be getting data in a different format you may have to clean up the data first and then you can analyze it and get the insights out of it so every time if you are an excel user this is pretty much required so that's why i've kept it over here in this course so let's talk about it right okay so here how to clean up the data first of all the very first thing that you should always understand the more the data symmetrical is the more it is easier for us to clean up the data the example which i'm taking right now is a very simple example it, it means that it's highly symmetrical data if you see over here we have some product codes right inside these product codes you will see that it's a very standard number of characters we have the first three characters are text the rest six are numbers right it's a highly symmetrical data and because it is symmetrical it's become very easy for us to clean up right so let's do it in few seconds now look at that i have to pick up letters out of it so sometime it is required i'll give you an example in our case like if i have to do a marketing so i get lot of numbers lot of phone numbers i get so if i have to send an automated call to them and i have to clean up those numbers and take out all the invalid phone numbers and we know the number of characters are 10 right so anything which is not a 10 character number i can take it out so such kind of examples if you are dealing with the pan numbers you know there is a symmetry in the pan numbers there is a combination of letters and numbers right so accordingly you can clean it up if you are dealing with customer id uh aadhar number pan number or maybe uh, uh, bank account number branch code chassis number vehicle number all such numbers has some symmetry in the data so how to clean it up okay let's talk about it so here we have some product product codes with us and you can see the first three are letters rest six are numbers we need to take out all the letters out of it you know in ms word we use a shortcut to do the same we can actually take it out but over here we have to use a function and how to use that function as see one thing very much important for us to understand over here is then in excel there is nothing that can figure out what is text and what is number out of a cell so what do we need to do we need to take the advantage of the symmetry we need to take the advantage of the position of letters and numbers and accordingly we need to take it out right okay let's do it because letters are on the left hand side i will be using a function which is very simple is equals to left look at that is equals to left now you know we have to use tab key because you have already seen how we write a function in the previous video so we'll be using tab and then look at the syntax we have text and number of characters now text is mandatory it's not in square bracket remember and it's also bold it means we are standing on that argument right now and number of characters is an optional argument if you skip this by default it will pick up one character from the left but we need three characters right so first of all what is my text this is going to be the product code comma how many number of characters this is going to be three we need k p o so three characters i'll be putting three over here and i'll be closing the bracket over here and then enter and there we go i've got all the letters right because it's a highly symmetrical data so similarly i just need to copy and paste it down and how i can do it you remember we need to double click on the right bottom corner of the cell and there we go we got it so this is that simple you know you get a lot of projects in which you have to clean up the data and using these features you can do it very quickly and you have that power now right similarly we need to take out numbers and yes you guessed it right it's absolutely right which as the function is also right so equals to right 
it says text comma number of characters so what is text again this and how many number of characters i have already mentioned these are six numbers and it's highly symmetrical data i'll talk about that where we have non symmetrical data right so i'll put six over here and i'll close the bracket down and enter and there we go we've got it and similarly i'll just double click on the right bottom corner and there we go we got all those numbers with us now we need to take out something from middle an example of the same which is a practical example would be a pan number you know in a pan number the fourth character defines the status of the pan holder now if i have a list of 10000 pan numbers and i want to uh search for the fourth character why because i target corporates right so in that case if the fourth character is c that data is important for me okay so with this function which we are going to talk about now we'll be able to pick up the fourth character out of that data and the function's name is mid right if you want to take out something from middle but in this case what do we need to do we need to pick up the characters from third to sixth third to sixth so it will be equals to mid there we go and then tab then it says text comma start number comma number of characters and all the arguments are mandatory right so text is what product code comma how many num so it's a start number right it says from third till sixth so first second third third right so i'll be putting the start number should be 3 comma from there how many number of characters i am looking for so third fourth fifth and sixth it means four characters so i'll be putting four over here and i'll be closing down the bracket here enter and there we go we got the four character out of this you can see 0 2 3 2 and similarly i'll just double click on the right bottom corner of the cell to copy and paste it down and the last thing for for example you don't have these product codes with you suppose you have letters and you have numbers now the point is that we have to join them to create a product code because suppose you didn't get those together you've got different set of data you you got a freelancing project you've got a project from fiverr upwork freelancing.com right and there you have the client is giving you some data that you have to join it at times it is required maybe the client got their customers to fill up the form and they filled up the form they put in the addresses but that is in a different rows and they have to join it to send a courier to them right and they do not know how to do it in excel so how you can do it through these functions so it's it's a gold mine guys it's a gold mine so and you can actually earn few dollars by doing this few seconds of job right so here we go it will be we need to join it remember it's quite simple we can use concatenate we can use text join also but i'm going to show you the very simple way of joining it and the way is i will be selecting letters right ampersand which is an and symbol and then numbers that's it enter and there we go we got the product code with us and then i'll just double click on the right bottom corner to get all those values so this is a demo of the basic functions of excel in which you can play around with the cleaning of the data you can actually take out some part of the cell out of it to the other cell or you can actually join it also we have used left right mid and concatenate guys right so with the help of these function you can do the basic cleaning of the data if you want to do the advanced part of it i have already covered in my in depth course i want to show you the module also over here let me show you the module guys okay so can you see this is my advanced excel course over here and i want to show you that how i take up all those so this is that module the text function guys here we go so we have covered this uh, left right mid the the uh, separating the text from the symmetrical data this is what we have covered this is what i've shown you but there are n number of things you can actually do when the data cleaning and the advanced part of this can be done using flash fill also there is a lot of functions text to column delimiter and you know um, upper lower proper len right substitute find all those functions can be used to clean up the data in depth right so if you want to do that you should check out this course in depth and you will get to know about it and there are a lot of modules that i have covered over here right so this is how we clean up the data let's go back to our excel and this is how we do it so i believe you got the idea how to clean up the data every time as i have already mentioned you have to clean up the data when you get a data from a different source so let's let's wait for the next video and we'll talk about a different feature of excel which is going to be very important in your job or if you are doing a freelancing in excel
Thank you.